Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's check out 10 tips in two minutes about the Galaxy Watch 4. All right, so tip number one is your watch is gonna start to lose battery life throughout the day. We're gonna be able to improve that by going down to accessibility, all the way down to advanced settings, and then right here, accessibility shortcuts, two finger triple tap, we'll click on that, and we'll go all the way down and then allow grayscale. So later in the day when your watch is starting to lose battery, just triple tap with two fingers and it'll turn it into grayscale to be able to really improve that battery life. So step number two is with a Galaxy Watch, you're gonna be wanting to use this rather than using your phone in a lot of scenarios. And the screen is just so small that it's hard to really get much done. So if we go into settings and click on the display and go all the way down, we'll head down to font size. And we'll make that small and give ourselves a lot more screen real estate to be able to text, you know, read articles, look at emails, whatever we're doing. So that's gonna give us a lot more size of a screen to be able to see a lot more content at once. Okay, and tip number three is we're gonna customize the home and the back key. Go to settings, go all the way down to advanced features, and then we're gonna go down right here to customize keys. Right now it has set to Bixby as a double press, holding the power off menu and then the short press to go back. We're gonna change this one to Google Pay which you'll need to download in the Google Play Store uh, to be able to access the Google Pay. It's not downloaded by default. And then the second one, we'll do Show Recents app. Click the bottom one, Show Recents. Hold the top one to turn off Power Menu. Double click, Access Google Pay. Now number four, there's nothing more annoying than bringing your wrist up and your watch does not come on. What we're gonna do is go into Settings, go to Display, and we'll go down to touch screen to wake. So if you have your watch off, all you have to do is click the screen and it'll turn right on just like that. So you might have just received your Galaxy Watch 4 in the mail or you're thinking of buying one. And when you get it, you don't want this thing getting scratched up because it's not cheap. So you invest in a screen protector and you find that the touch sensitivity is just not that great. So what we're gonna do to improve that when you get that screen protector on there is go to display and go all the way down to touch sensitivity. You put that on there and that'll give you a lot more sensitivity to play with when you have that thick screen protector on your Galaxy Watch. Tip number six. When you go into your messages, either you're using Samsung or Android messages and you wanna reply, you go to the keyboard and then you see this, this teeny screen with all these letters here. It's definitely not gonna be a very easy thing to use. So what I would recommend is if you go up to the Google Play Store and you search for Gboard and download that, and then once you do that, you go to your settings and go down to general, input, and then you select keyboard list and change that default one to Gboard. Now if we go back to the messages app and start typing a new message here with our keyboard, you'll see that we have all these letters. Those look small, but you can actually type them pretty easy. And it will give you predictive text. There's also the voice. And then what's really nice is you can do swipe gestures. So you can do, hey, how are you? It'll give you a space automatically for you. Really nice to have. It makes it a lot easier to text while you're on your Galaxy Watch. Real quick, if you are getting value out of these tips on the Galaxy Watch 4, please hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. All right, and another one for Android users, even most Samsung phones, Google Assistant is the best option for a digital assistant, but with the Galaxy Watch 4 and Galaxy Watch 4 Classic, at the time of this video anyway, only they only have Bixby Voice as an option. So once Google Assistant comes out, and added to the Galaxy Watch 4. What we're gonna do to enable that is go down in the settings to, let's see, apps right here. And then you'll choose default app. And right here you'll see digital assistant app, Bixby Voice. You can click on that and you'll be able to select Google Assistant right there. 
Now, tip number eight is you go swipe up from the bottom and you see all your apps there. You might have some that you don't use very much. What you can go ahead and do is click and hold and drag that down to the bottom and just move those just like that. Number nine is really similar to eight. You swipe down from the top and you have your panel here. What you can do is just click and hold, move those around just as you'd like. You can also go to the end, click, and you can add extra ones or delete them and just go back to save it. Now number 10 is the one that you probably are familiar with, customizing your watch faces. You can click and hold, customize the one that's there, or swipe through. I've downloaded a few extra. You can go all the way to the end and go more watch faces, click on that, go to the Google Play Store and it'll have a bunch of options for you. Hundreds of different watch faces that you can customize and change the colors and functionality. Now if you want to see this other video that I made unboxing and reviewing the Galaxy Watch 4 44mm, make sure to check out this video and it's also linked down in the description. All right, that'll wrap it up for this Galaxy Watch 4 10 tips in two minutes video. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you've enjoyed this content. Until next time, I'll see you later.